You know, uh, we're muzzleload hunting this year, but the reason we're preparing uh, for this muzzleloading season with Paul, who's an old friend of the show, who's been on uh, coyote hunting, is we're using an actual flintlock this year, which is cool to take a deer with, hopefully. And John and I both have uh, the Southern Mountain style rifle, which was characteristic of a lot of the, the pioneers that they used in Kentucky. Now you got me hooked up with something a little different, which I, and I like this. John made this. Wow. I did a few things to this one to modify it just for hunting purposes. And it's got a single set trigger on it. It gives it a very light trigger pull. These guns, the long barrel on them, are, tend to be a little top heavy. Now, I've got, I've got to be shooting with one hand, so you, this is going to be cool, man. I'm excited about this. The 16 and a half inch barrel is mm -hmm. 50 caliber. It's got a 1 and 18 twist on it, so it pushes the ball out because it doesn't have as much barrel to get that velocity mm -hmm. up. You want a faster twist so that ball gets spinning. And uh, you run about 55 grains of uh, 3F black powder in it. Mm -hmm. And it'll put that thing down range at about 1,450 feet per second or about 800 foot-pounds of energy. I want to try it. You see where you hit? A little left. How's the kick on that field? You know, I'm gonna hold it a little tighter next time. <laughs> but that wasn't bad at all. Well, when you hit two in the same place, it makes me think that your consistency is there. <laughs> Just that, about the same hole, that's isn't it? two in the same hole. You know, I always tell people, if you're gonna hunt, don't take a gun from somebody no. just because they can shoot it well. You always try. I've had this happen a million times. Guy hands me a gun, a scoped gun. It's dead on. And I shoot it, and I'm up here. I typically always shoot, and I don't know why, uh, somebody's right-handed. I usually shoot high and left. I don't know why. And everybody has a different way they look at a look at a gun. But anyway, I'm real happy with two shots at 25 yards. That's yeah, a, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> that's pretty impressive. All right, Ken, don't throw a wild one on this one. <laughs> I'm picking to the end. You feel the powder down in there? Yep. A little bit of powder in here. You just kind of... Towards the outside of the pan. Depress that. Depress it and just let it, let it up. You hardly need any in there. There's a hang fire on that one. That was quicker, wasn't it? Yeah. And you're still hitting in the same area. Yep, right on top of those other shots. Uh huh. Oh, you cut the ten ring that time. Still. Just a smidgen. Yeah. Just a smidgen. You see where you hit? Nicholas County, uh, just kind of in between uh, Millersburg and Carlisle. You all can, I guess, hit on to the back and I'll go my way. And yeah. Like I said, anybody needs me and they can't get me on the radio, call me on cell phone. And we're on a uh, farm here of about 300 acres. It's fairly heavily wooded. It's been managed for deer by its owner. A lot of deer in this place. The level of uh, challenge with this is, is dramatically more than with a scoped gun or one of these inline guns that's able to go out to 150, 200 yards. You're limited on this to a, a closer range. You have to understand how to load this thing and how to make it operate under adverse weather conditions. 
it, it adds a level of challenge to it that you don't otherwise don't get. Saw some deer this morning. Had I a uh, modern weapon with a scope, we could have had one, but hunt with one of these things. <laughs> no, you're pretty much uh, extended bow range is about what you can do with one of these, so we didn't get one to come in close enough to us. was with a flintlock pistol. That, that was cool. I think I've shot him just about every way in the world. I'm so excited I can't understand it. Okay, that was a flintlock pistol. And guess what? It's down. It's brown. And it's going on my table. <laughs> That's the size. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a young doe and it's going to eat good. How cool. Okay, 50 caliber pistol. Line this thing up just like we did. Squeezed it off, boom. And went down 20, about 25 yards? Yeah, about 25 yards. That's gotta be a first for Kentucky Field. That is excellent. Thank you so much for the use. <laughs> I'm gonna give it back to you now before I drop it. But thank you You're so welcome. much, sir. We had a big time. Mm -hmm.